Let me quickly demonstrate how you can make our Images and Radio Buttons application become a slideshow. First, we'd like to go to the toolbox, drag down to Components, and move the timer to our project. So we come over here and we see that Enabled is false and the interval is 100 milliseconds. Well, this is too fast for a slideshow. Let's make it, oh, say, two seconds per slide. So that's 2,000 milliseconds. Now, perhaps the user wants to scroll through. Perhaps they want to use the radio buttons, and perhaps they want to use the slideshow feature. So for the slideshow to work, let's give the user an option to choose a checkbox. And we can call it CHK for checkbox slideshow. And let's make the text here be slideshow. So that if the user checks the checkbox, the timer will run. So to make this code happen, we'll double click inside slideshow, inside the checkbox slideshow, I should have said. And now if the checked is changed, this code will run. So if you check it, uh, this code will run. Now it's important to note this code will run if it's checked with a check mark or if it's unchecked. So we need to put an if then statement there. If chk slideshow dot checked equals true. Oops. If they check it, then we want timer one dot enabled to equal true. If it's not true, then we want timer one dot enabled to equal false. Now, of course, the code for our timer needs to be in the timer itself. So every tick we want to then make the code happen. Now what we could do is we can come over here and we could copy all of this code from the button next click procedure. But why not just simply call the subprogram. Notice the subprogram needs an argument sender and argument E for the event arguments. And notice that our timer one tick, and in fact every one of the computer generated subprograms has the same sender and E system event. So this is quite simple. We can call the BTN next click. Of course it needs a sender. So just type in sender and it needs an event argument, type in E. And that's it. So now whenever we run it, we can scroll through manually. We can scroll through with the radio buttons or we can press the slideshow. Oh, I forgot to mention when in the middle of recording I changed the timer interval to 500 milliseconds. So that's why it's going so fast, but yours should go slower and more appealingly. All right. Anyway, that's it for this short tutorial. Thanks for watching.